Hello YouTubers and YouTubettes. In this video we'll be making zinc powder and um, we'll be using lye which is also known as sodium hydroxide or caustic soda. And now as a quick disclaimer, I'm an idiot. Don't be like me. But should you choose to want to do this, be safe about it and wear the proper safety equipment. Me being an idiot, even I know to do that. So having said that, let's continue on. So what you're going to want to do is take 150 grams of sodium hydroxide and 400 milliliters of water and mix them together. And then you're going to want to add zinc metal and put it in a solution and stir it. Um, so you can see in here, this is what I, where I'm at right now. Alright, so now with your container and your solution, you're going to want to get a DC power supply. And with that, you're going to want to get a cathode and anode set up and put into solution. Now, your anode, you're going to want to have a piece of zinc. And your cathode, being the negative terminal, you're going to want either a piece of copper or zinc. Um, both will work. Uh, copper cathode, and I'm using a zinc anode. And as you can see, it is transferring the zinc metal from one to the other. This being the negative. And, um... So that is how it, I'm going to make my zinc powder. And so then you just take that off, take this out, rinse it off, and then scrape the zinc off. And you get like a zinc sponge, which will turn into zinc powder. And um, so using this um, method like this, I mean, basically it takes from one and puts it on the other endlessly. And um, so I'm using a ATX power supply that I made. And I just have the 5 volt standby as the power and so um, it's creating a little bit of hydrogen but not very much but uh, yeah as you can see it it works alright so after your cells ran for a little while this is what it looks like and you can see that the zinc's pretty well grown up over the copper and so um, in between these two uh, segments I tested the difference between having the cathode with zinc or copper and um, I didn't really see any kind of difference as per how much you gain over any certain amount of time it seemed pretty equal copper versus zinc um, but so then what you do is just this is just a little water dish I have this with regular water in it and it just scrapes just scrapes right off as you can see and then once you're done scraping it just throw it back in and start all over again and I find that uh, the way that I'm doing this it pretty much will go forever until the, your anodes completely dissolve which uh, visually after getting maybe uh, I don't know a couple ounces um, of powder I still can't even visually see a difference and something you want to do also is keep your anode and your cathode as close together as possible um, it seems to work a lot better when they're close uh, a lot faster and so that's how you make zinc powder pretty easy and well I mean you still want to dry this out to filter it and then dry it but it's ready to go at that point